If one day I'm called up to the big house, if I'm called, they'll have a funeral, I want you to bury me face down. And then all of my critics can kiss my ass. I want bump a loop bump, I want bam boom a tootie fruity. Welcome to the jungle! And by jungle, I mean wrestling podcast. And by welcome, I mean endure. <laughs> this is your lead vocalist, Axel Hunter. Joined as ever by Steve Adler on drums. Uh, V1. What's the story? <laughs> He's got thrown there. Joined as ever with Fernando Levice, OC. He's the manager who just gives out the fans. <laughs> Ooh, does, he, does he keep a spreadsheet of which fans can't get into the next gig? <laughs> he says, if you don't like the music, you're clueless. <laughs> he gives out the fans yeah. giving out about Axl Rose not turning up to gigs, basically. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, how yeah. dare you yeah, yeah. demand <laughs> value for your money. <laughs> Hope you've got an appetite for Beckstruction. That's the best Becky Lynch. If you can think of a better GNR Becky Lynch pun, I, I like comment it. below. I like it. Because it's the man's first film, Marine 6, and it's coming up right now. Welcome, Yaggers! Happy days are here again! Hey! How are you, Mr. V1? I am very good. I'm dying to talk about this, by the way. And OC, how are you, sir? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Jesus. When I first read this this script, uh, I got emotional. Also, so why are we doing Marine 6? Huge news. We were on the set. Yeah. Oh my god. Thanks to producer Ben for inviting us. We were there shortly before Christmas 2017 and the film is shot in Millennium Mills, conveniently close to London City Airport. Yeah, the Ta- best airport in London. Yes, yes, yes. We went over to London. We got to the set. First things first, I, I was quite blunt about it. I was like, what can you give me for free? to make Vince slightly poorer. <laughs> that's all I want to do. It's one, my, one on my bucket list. Anyway, so I got a free cup of tea. That was great. And then we were brought to, actually, the big finish of the film, uh, along the Keys, where the boat is. 50 takes, broke for lunch, and I was like, oh, man. transfer the catering. Yeah! <laughs> I transferred a legendary WWE catering. You guys did not partake? No, we looked. Yeah, it was food no, out you. of, like, a truck yeah. by the side of a derelict built <laughs> <laughs> I was like it's homeless V1 <laughs> homeless V1 has some standards <laughs> just not for how he looks <laughs> his body is his temple <laughs> it's quite freezing cold out but they did have a very hearty pork chops and spaghetti do you know like Ricky Gervais extras they have a lot of scenes where they're getting lunch and it's in a converted bus anyway it was in one of those that was that's cool. a good gimmick by the way yeah it was grand all straight in there like that, no messing. Uh, it's not a pubes of dog hair. Uh, it's all right. It's not a pubes of dog hair, everyone. So after lunch, woo! So we got to meet Sean Michaels, and so uh, we were outside his trailer, and then he opened the door, and then OC. <laughs> <laughs so like you know the first time meeting one of my heroes you say so when you see sean at the end of this movie he's in a tattered t-shirt and blood on his face and and that kind of thing that's what he was wearing when i met him so he opens the door and i say jesus sean you've seen better days <laughs> i don't know if he knew what i meant because he didn't really react <laughs> he sandbagged the shit out of me. <laughs> You were very complimentary. You were telling me, oh, I love how you put over Sid. <laughs> Those feuds were the best. And I was like, okay, I'll break the ice. I know something about you. You go hunting sometimes. So I asked him about hunting, sandbagged it completely. He's very nice. He's lovely. It's very hard not to be starstruck by him as well, because he's, you know, such a legend in the business. So I thought, all right, I can't leave without, I'm never going to meet you again. I got to say it. I loved your three-week heel turn against Hulk Hogan. That was brilliant. And he just kind of turned his back and went, ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a trailer. 
he wanted to meet the three of us as much as he wanted to put over Brett at WrestleMania 12. God, what a little trooper. Like, he could have said, no, I don't want to meet them, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just the fact that he got up off his arse to come out and greet three marks is, I was like, yeah, it's pretty mm-hmm. nice. So, cheers, Sean. Mm-hmm. And then we got the uh, main event of the meet and greet. The, uh, the main course, if you will. <laughs> Because tonight, it's tonight, we're to become one. <laughs> As V1, you got to meet uh, your old pal, Becky Lynch. Yeah, Jesus, it had been a long, long time. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> and that Jay did say, oh, at one point, you literally said that. It was nice. I'm sure it was lovely catching up. Yeah, time. you know, like it was awkward at first because we haven't seen each other in years and didn't know what to say but then the second like we chatted it was yeah it was it was great lovely to see her again can you explain so how do you know becky when i was younger when i was a teenager uh, i used to be like a rocker used to hang around at a place called central bank in dublin all the rockers and the metal heads and the punks we used to sit at the base of this big bank in the middle of dublin yeah that was how we met probably because we were both wearing like some kind of wrestling t-shirts and hardy boys fans fans of the same wrestlers and yeah we just kind of became friends and she always wanted to be a wrestler back in those days wrestlers were you know you've had your sables and your sunnies and no one really kind of took women's wrestling for much of anything and to see her now being the hottest act in all of wrestling not just wwe it's fucking amazing and i'm delighted for her she's so nice as well she is lovely she's really humble so proud of her that she represents Ireland as well. Yeah. And she's doing an amazing job. And you actually get to see her potential in WWE here. Because she had to endure about four years of shit on the main roster. Then we got to uh, hang out with Ben and watch them complete the stunts. And so he gave us a bit of a background scan, which I'll scatter throughout the review. Then he, he got to talk to OSC and you were like... Uh, yeah. I thought he was in on it. Basically like slagging the movie. Like, But I thought he was kind of like, I know it's a piece of shit. But no, he took that shit seriously. I was like, oh, any uh, Oscar buzz for... Uh, <laughs> 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 he was like, no. Okay. Like, uh, oh my God. I was, I, I misread that. Again, it was a, a day of misreading situations completely. Uh, then he was like, I just want to make the best Marine film. Oh yeah. What did I say? That wouldn't be hard. <laughs> it's like, fuck's sake, OC. I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, Stop setting me up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even believe I said that. Uh, that I was on form that day. <laughs> you were on form. Rare form, Steve. Rare form. So afterwards, they got us a taxi. And wow, I cost, you know, we cost Vince another £30 sterling. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Free taxi awesome. ride was great. We yeah. should have told your man to just keep on driving around London for another hour just to get the clock up. But uh, you won't hear this often, but I'll say we were too nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fairly sure everyone listening to this can refute that <laughs> easily. Just a bit about film production under WWE's flag. WWE, they'd hire freelance writers. They'd hire guys to shoot the film. And it shot pretty much as the script is, but they are allowed a little leeway. But anything big, they'd have to okay for us from the studio. Then their part is completely done. The footage shot is given to WWE Studios in LA to edit it. And then given the polish, the VFX grade sound post-production, it's done in Canada and then we're done. Nice. Um, so, a lot of different pies there. Um, it, <laughs> <laughs> so, Marine 6, a bit of production scan. We did get to meet WWE producer Ralph Portillo, WWE's UK liaison. So, they have a weekly meeting with the studio president, Michael Luisi. They say, yeah, that's good. No, it isn't. Vince and H aren't there because WWE Studios and the wrestling company are very separate. Director James Nunn, he was there, but he was on the boat directing <laughs> so we didn't get to meet him was he with ron uh he did do marine five with gully bully and bo dallas i've seen this cast jay i won't lie to you 
I want to do a review of Marine 5. Oh my god. Well, let us know if you in the comments if you want. He also did The Eliminators with White Barra. Nice. And didn't he do... Tower Block? That's the one. Yeah, yeah. that has a kind of similar setting as this film. The budget is one-tenth of Marine 1. Wow, really? Yeah, and Marine 1 with Nyan Zena, which is the most popular film WWE have made. It cost 20 million to make, brought in 35. Uh, it was shot over four weeks, and roughly that again for preparation. So a month for prep, a month shooting. Just thought when we were on set, uh, all those shots took a while to set up, and they do the same shot over and over. The general mood on, on set is very cheerful and positive. Everyone's pretty happy, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, stuff, man. You know, it's the first time I've ever been on set. I don't know if that's the usual, or if people are a bit more grumpy, or... they Well, they were doing it for us, like... <laughs> they were putting on their big smiles for us. As soon as we turn around, it's grim. <laughs> <laughs> Just start cracking the whip. Uh, Christian Bale appears out of nowhere, <laughs> starts screaming at people. Ben would say that Miz would just start cutting promos on the crew during production. He sounds pretty awesome. I, I, I reckon Miz is good old crack. Marine 6 cast, starring the Miz in his fourth straight Marine movie. Even though Sean plays an ex-con in the Jesus film The Resurrection of Gavin Stone, this movie features two WWE film debuts, Shawn Michaels and Becky Lynch. So let's see how they got on. Let's finish this. The Marine 6, close quarters. Film start. Kick off with The Miz and Sean sparring. V1, how did they get on? Better than I would have guessed. Sean moved well. It was edited very well. Miz's punch are a little bit wide and a little bit windy, but overall, big dirty thumbs up. This is the, a great scene just for one thing I liked about the movie. An hour and 25, boom. <sighs> we have no yeah. time to mess around here. Let's go exposition. This is our background. This is how we know each other. And we're done. Now let's get into the movie. I was your CEO. We did two tours together. Hell, I took a bullet for you. You don't know me better than that. Vulnerable teen Sarah is out jog, 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 jogging. Is that <laughs> jogging? <laughs> <laughs> it's when you walk fast for a prolonged period. You're jogging. Um, then out of nowhere, Bucky menacingly blocks her path. Becky, her jocks are bed on to her. Yeah. Great stuff. To help kidnap Sarah, out pops Baron Corbin from the van. <laughs> the bald guy, the big bald guy. Oh, right. It's well, not really Baron. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. With his leprechaun accent. Where the fuck she go? Dowie, go. Where the fuck she go? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what? Sorry, mate. <laughs> can, Steve, can you think of any other movies with dodgy Irish accents? Oh, I think there's one with, uh, in, uh, in the 90s, I think. Yeah, yeah. 90s. Um, far and away. <laughs> <laughs> Blown away! <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of... Um, who's in Blown Away? Blown Away! Blown Away! <laughs> Sorry, who has this accent? Tommy Lee Jones. He's playing a IRA bomber. <laughs> And very much like here, Becky, a.k.a. Maddie Hayes, plays part of the fucking ra here. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> An international crime syndicate spearheaded by the Hayes family. Not P.S. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God he's not in this movie. Can oh, you think imagine? Think of his outfits. <laughs> like, if he had a budget for his wardrobe. like. <laughs> oh, my God. Becky has quite a thick accent. And the first thing I notice here is that she's definitely trying to tone it back a little uh, bit. Yeah, I was gonna. I was thinking at one point she says, "Come here," rather than "Come here." Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's how she normally. Yeah, bleeding get with you. <laughs> Just do it. What's Becky's deal is that her dad is on trial for his crimes, and their plan is to kidnap the daughter of a juror, blackmailing him to force his vote so that his dad walks free. And so they get Sarah, and they hold her in the old cracker factory. Aha, uh -huh, the Oregon State Brewery. Although filmed in England, they CG'd the sign at the front and the background vista as well. Meanwhile, Miz and Sean, a.k.a. Jake Carter and Luke Draper. <laughs> <laughs> the most American names ever, aren't they? 
are driving to that very same dilapidated factory. Both are ex-Marines. Miz is now an EMT, and Sean is a veteran's assistant, en route to helping an elderly vet who's squatting in said factory. You'd know that there is quite a tight budget. There is a ton of green screen and CG effects. Like the Miz and Sean, they are in a stationary car, and but it's like, like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is probably the worst of it all, though. Like, it was very obvious here. I watched this movie with my wife, and when the scene came on, she just pissed herself laughing. I was like, what are you laughing at? She's like, I can't stop looking at his eye. How is it legal for him to drive? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's very mean, and I Accurate. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're late. I'll be waiting out here for an hour. It's nice to see you too, Graham. Fuck you. Scummy, itchy finger, this dodgy dude shows them his gun and lets them in, nervously rambling and insulting the squatters. Miz takes exception to this, calling them humans. That was just so weird seeing Miz as a baby face. Like the way he walks around. Uh, he's kind of like Liam Gallagher. He's kind of shaping, you know. <laughs> but he's an out and out baby face. Total baby face in this movie. And the quaff as well is kind of heelish. The vet takes Sean's treats and then turns them away. But before they go... What's upstairs? They hear Sarah. She's being held captive. So they have to go check it out. And we get the first meeting of Ms. Sean and Bucky. Maybe we should call the police. Let them sort this out. Oh, that won't be necessary. I insist. There's no need for the police, Jake. Maybe we should just be on our way out. Unbelievable. After a standoff, Baxter stabs Itchy Finger and our heroes take Sarah and hole up in next door's closet. Mm. And some poor guy gets shot with a shotgun at point blank range. They actually just blew a hole in him and, and uh, I'm like, holy shit, uh, that's pretty graphic for this movie. That um, was a great spot. Yeah. I was not expecting this. I think they blew the whole budget on that one shot. <laughs> <laughs> Squibs. But Steve, would you say that your man with the shotgun was blown away? Act two, Lynch's henchmen arrive just as Sean juggernauts through the plaster wall. All right, love, I'm the bloody juggernaut, <laughs> innit? Actually, he would be in England, wouldn't he? There yeah, you go. Yeah. Yeah. Bucky needs the girl alive as leverage until the jury acquit her dad. So to her henchman is like, shoot the guys, but keep her safe. And initiates a lockdown of the factory. Lethal lockdown. Oh, I was thinking gunfights, combat inside a multi-story building. This is just like the raid. That's what I have. <laughs> yes. Same quality. <laughs> exactly. Well, it, it's, it's only the movie the raid could have been. <laughs> <laughs> there is one bit here where uh, Becky says to her goons, like, go and get those two fellas. And, you know, uh, I think one guy's like, why? And she's just like, just do it. I was like, yes, I love it. <laughs> and she's like, oh, bleeding borscht. Oh, bleeding borscht, you know. <laughs> like, that's a real... Seamus and Becky have real Irish accents, but the Americans would think, where the, that's not an Irish accent. Yeah. Because they're so used to the aforementioned <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones, Tom Cruise, <laughs> Nicole Kidman, Julia Roberts, the list goes on and on. Did she pretend to be Irish? Michael Collins. Oh, bollocks, yeah. Mm. Oh, bollocks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear of the Big Bang, Liam? Gentlemen, I leave you in the grace and favour of the Lord. I'm Joseph Donnelly, of the family Donnelly. You slept together, lived together, fought together. How is it that you came to be way out here without a horse? Why the fuck do I want a caravan? It's got no fucking wheels. So this is the story of the film. Ms. Sean and Sarah are trying to escape the building to safety, but Becky needs Sarah as Sarah's dad deliberates on what to do on the jury. Fight scene! During these fight scenes, Miz and Sean always have a bit of crack together, a bit of banter back and forth. Do you enjoy I that? I love their banter back and forth. It's probably my favourite part of the entire movie. Mm. You know, they actually filmed way more of it, but they cut the shit out of that in the film. And like, man, I was like, oh, geez, this is the kind of stuff that made the film. And it's like, mm. yeah, this is the best part of the film. Buddy cop stuff, yeah, you know? Yeah. 
during the the uh, scene where Sean is fighting with the guy, there's a cut where Sean is doing a flip, and you get to see this lovely, youthful, uh, flowing hair of his uh, <laughs> double. I love that. It's amazing. By the way, props to him, which we'll talk about later on. Dude can fucking jump. <laughs> A beastly jump. <laughs> so it was a bit like Spaceballs where the bad guys capture him. It was like, no, you idiots, you captured their stunt doubles. <laughs> nice. Um, so they talk about old times and old missions and stuff, but we never get to see it. We just hear about these kind of more interesting stories. So it was like, oh, big bang of Star Wars episode two. It's like, oh, it's like that time we fell on the nest of Gundarks. <laughs> <laughs> Splicey. <laughs> I haven't felt you this tense since, since we fell into that nest of Gundarks. <laughs> I owe you one. Two by my count. Two. Ramadi. Oh, six. Well, you owe me one, and not for saving your skin for the tenth time. Ninth time. That business on Kato Nemoidia doesn't, doesn't count. It's a bit weird that, in general, they're so reverential of Marines, uh, you know, in that whole series, but they're also emotionless killers that laugh about murdering people. It just hot popped him. Oh, I got two. Ha <laughs> ha. That, that shit is <laughs> traumatic. It's yeah, it's kind of terrifying, you know. But the tone is very light. So, Sarah laments their chances, saying they have guns, and we have a hammer, just like Robo Guard. <laughs> <laughs> see, when people see you on the street and they have a gun, they know you're not going to shoot them. But come at them with a fucking hammer, <laughs> and they'll get it. If a guard comes at you with a gun, you know he'll never use it. But if he comes at you with a fucking hammer, you'll run for your life. Where does this lead? The green room. Lock it down. Escape down a granary chute. Uh, with n- not an asshole, but an actual chute. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah goes second and falls down on Miz, and they both end up in a silo, but it's grand. Heel shotgun black guy knows Sean is going down the chute, he's the last one to go down, so the heel hurls bags of grains down after him, causing him to... And he bumps hard in the silo. Oh, nasty bit of rebar through his shoulder. Mm, just like the 2013 reboot of Tomb Raider, where Lara Croft breaks out and she falls onto a piece of rebar, has to pull it out. And also, like that scene just before winter in The Last of Us, where uh, Joel and Ellie are in the university and Joel falls off the ledge and lands onto the rebar. So... I have a feeling that these lads who made this may be gamers, lads. Um, just because Ben is working on a video game right now doesn't mean <laughs> anything. <laughs> he is, actually. It's uh, Erica. It's this heavy rain kind of live action choose your own adventure oh, thing. Yes! Yeah, yeah. Heavy rain and choose your own. Uh, give me a copy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want it. Jason! <laughs> Sean! <laughs> Jason! 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 There's a fight scene where there's some lad with a cattle prod and uh, it's probably the best joke of the entire movie. He's um, trying to shock Sean and he's screaming like... And Sean's like, stop screaming! (laughs) And then he gets him. Great. I love that bit. Let's tango. Chango tango. Means with a big Streets of Rage dropkick as he hits the one goon at the front and all three fall down. Um, he- nice. Yeah, I was watching that going. It's like, you know, Miz has a great character and he's a good promo. But when you watch him throw a dropkick in a movie, you're like, oh, yeah, he's not a good wrestler. You know? <laughs> he's very basic. It was a nice Randy Orton drop kick. He wishes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually. But he follows up with a hey or KO, but fails. But finishes the last goon with a jumping springboard roundhouse. Yeah, which is uh, reminiscent of the last WEC show. Anthony Pettis did like a jumping kick off the cage. Made me think of that. It was awesome. Yeah, just smile and nod. Splicey? <laughs> Splicey, yeah, sure. Think of a better way to bring oh! down the I was thinking maybe John claude Van Damme do that. Or did Jimmy Bennett do that? <laughs> Jimmy Benet. 
They hightail it and meet with old vet Tommy, who's willing to help them out now. Not before closing the wound with uh, Sprouts Mexicane. <laughs> um, sprouts, pinch of chili powder, jar of curry powder, hint of Tabasco sauce. Well, three bottles, actually. Not so much a hint, but a party political broadcast. <laughs> and the secret ingredient, gunpowder. <laughs> actually, just gunpowder. What did you think of son- Sean selling noises in general? Didn't notice, but, well, I will now. It's quite comical. Like, he sounds just like he does in wrestling. There's, like, a shootout, and he goes, oh! And uh, even, like this, when he gets his, uh, they use gunpowder to close his wound, he screams, but it's his Shawn Michaels comedy scream. So I was like, ah! <laughs> you know? Nice. So you laugh. Instead of him being in pain, it's, it's a comical laugh. But I thought, like, he's quite good at comedy. It just translates well. Okay, come on. <laughs> I was just, you know, going through this film, they're going to different areas of the abandoned building. Man, it really cuts down on costs if you book the film to be in an abandoned lot because, you know, no one else is there. So it's only 12 actors in total. It's great. And great. the places are run down already. So it's, it's already its own set as well. And it cuts down on unnecessary characters, unnecessary plot lines to mull over and, and eat up time. It's like the raid. The movie starts, they're in the, or your, your man's leaving his gaff in the morning, they get in the van, at the building, in the building, and then the, the movie's done. Bit bop Bob's, Bob's your uncle, Boom. crack it out in a day or two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan? Ooh, there is a tunnel outside which leads to the caves and then out to the docks and sweet, sweet freedom. But how do they get outside? I thought Becky locked the entire building then. Uh, Shut up, that's why. <laughs> It's like um, Mr. Burns when he has like six doors that open the key and retina scanner and open it, open it, and then it's uh, Homer eating a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think of Sean's t-shirt, which says, proud grandma of a honor student? Yeah, well, it was one of the reasons that, you know, Sean dislikes me. <laughs> <laughs> That's f- specific shirt. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's you know part of the reason why I insulted the man. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it speaks to his kind of comedy character, so it's a bit of uh, light relief. Yeah, enjoyed it. Hmm? Oh, nice T-shirt, Grandma. Don't let me die in this thing. But the manhole is blocked by a car, so Sean he holds off the baddies while the rest move the vehicle and escape. I actually thought this was the best action scene. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. good. It was pretty good. Made sense. It was given time as well, so it wasn't rushed. I also like the joke when Sarah is trying to move the car. They're like, put it into neutral. She's like, I drive a Prius. He's like, clutch it. Which was the clutch? The one on the left. A great little uh, back and forth. Gamer Miz uh, sees a gas canister and is like, oh yeah, I'll just or two that and <laughs> chuck it. Take it straight from Uncharted 3, by the way. <laughs> he throws the gas canister and Sean has a bit of a prayer there. <laughs> he has to get Jesus into the movie somehow. And uh, shoots it and explodes. And lovely CG explosion there. <laughs> <laughs> farty pyro. It is a little farty. But, so there was, it but it was cost the, way too much to actually oh, yeah. do that. Yeah. It was the only explosion in the movie, though, right? You know, you're you're expecting how many, like, in the Marine One, isn't John Cena just constantly leaping away from fire? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most yeah. the film's actually only about fifty minutes long. It's just in <laughs> slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> and oh no, Tommy! No, I have barely known you for ten minutes. <laughs> you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> You've served your plot purpose, Tommy. Um, but I will give the actor; he did his best to try to make us care. We didn't. <laughs> Finish your mission, Marine. Simplify. Oh. oh, the man isn't happy. So she murders one of the goons and tells Shotgun Guy to get his rear in gear. Becky, she's a complete heel, definitely black hat. So there's no range for her character. It's just straight up, I'm a huge cunt. Yeah, yeah. Our heroes lead underground into the Shanghai tunnels to escape, while Becky's boosters are shortly in tow. They're in the tunnels. Those tunnels lead to the docks. Call Cap, make sure she's waiting for them. You get down there, drive them to us. 
What are you going to do then? What you couldn't. Commando. What's up, Cat? Yeah, we're in. We're going to chase them to you. You got this? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I'll bury those boys down here. Act three, the Eagles enact the plan where Becky's sister, Kat, will lead our heroes right back to her. Oh, that's her sister? Yes. Why does she have an American accent? Bad actress. Although I will say, I actually liked her voice. I just, I thought she had a very nice voice. Yeah, and she kind of looks like a young red witch from Game of Thrones. Yeah. And uh, WWE's Foley guy. Not Mick, the actual Foley guy. Um, he has work cut out for her because she has all these chains on. So all you hear is... <laughs> she's not sneaking up on anybody. <laughs> Come on! <sighs> Whoa! Back up. Whoa! Chill out, man. Chill out. In the Shanghai tunnels, a.k.a. these underground caves, the baby faces bump into Cat. She plays dumb, and the faces reluctantly go along with it, just saying, oh, let's get out of okay. They go along with it in the fact that, ooh, we're not sure if we trust her, but we're not going that way. But they kind of have no choice. No. Because they can't go no. back, because the other yeah, lads but they, did it. they can't go with her either, because they, they, it would take a complete idiot not to know that she was in on it and leading them into a trap. Like, the way she is reacting, like, she had two guns in her face, like, Whoa, whoa, yeah, come on, follow me. No, you don't react like that, sorry. And plus, wait, I've been squatting here for months and yeah. she looks pristine as well. Where'd you get that makeup? Ah, it's just a bit of dirty face. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she looks ready for Central Bank, Steve. <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> so she tells him, oh, I don't have a phone, fuck it. But her phone rings and ah, shit, the ah, game is fuck. up. The jig, the Irish jig is up. <laughs> it's a trap. Steve, it's a trap. I have that exact, it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> the exact same thing written down. <laughs> that was thirty percent more jowly than usual. <laughs> Shoot out with Becky's gang. They schmoz. Ah, oh, a lovely double underhook suplex by Miz to oh, Baron. This is what this movie needed was more wrestling moves, and we finally got it. <laughs> Why not have all the actors played by wrestlers? Uh, they tried that in five. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch it so much. The cast, Steve. The cast. You're on your own. <laughs> uh, Bo Dallas. Gully Bully. Two Get more. Fucking in. <laughs> Get fucking in. The black guy with the shotgun. He's the kind of, pretty much the second most important villain. Yeah. Like, he could have definitely been a wrestler. Oh, there's one kind of fat jobber with a beard. He just comes out for one shot. He gets mowed down immediately. It's like, oh, that could have been me. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah is renapped. HBK hits a piggyback electric chair on Cat. Did you like the bit where Sean just gives her one bah, punch right in the face? I love that. Good stuff. And the must-see wrestler, The Miz, using a rope to improvise, adapt, overcome, and neck snap. Yeah, he did really well. This was a good spot. The Miz and Sean take cover for our final shootout. And holy shit, the Miz is shot. Holy fuck. He's a goner. He's going to die. And Sean and Miz banter. Miz saying Sean took two bullets in his side during a tactical retreat, saving Miz's life. And Miz is returning the favor. The movie completely slows down here as we get the melodramatic music as he comes out. Bang, bang, burning. <laughs> <laughs> bang, 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 bang. bang, bang. bang. <laughs> And uh, no, they do it quite seriously. And he gets shot a couple of more times, takes out a load of goons. He hooks up as well and shoots even more people. Terminator music comes on because he gets shot about 12 times and is still going. Did you like his uh, his visage, his dying face, his death scene? What do you think? Hilarious. I thought he hammed it up so much that... I reckon shooting this scene, they must have had so much crack. This probably took dozens of takes and he probably overdid it so much that he was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, loved it. It was hilarious, but it was tonally 
absolutely wrong for someone who is being the head of your franchise for four movies. I have to say, I quite enjoyed it. And I also was shocked because he like he is the Marine. This is his franchise. So it was like, holy shit, you know. Um, I, I, I liked how he tucked his chin in. Nice and safe when he was taking uh, the bump. Taking the bump. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm not hitting my head. I don't care how realistic that is. <laughs> new. Did you? Yeah, I thought it was cool. He we get the kind of slow uh, red eye from Red Dead as he just picks off people. That was pretty cool. And they save the final kill shot for Becky, who throws a knife into his heart. Nice. Good stuff. It's best to be killed off and actually get a death scene rather than the franchise being killed and that's that, you know. So what you're, you're going to quote The Dark Knight, basically. Better to... Get shot and kill the franchise than... <laughs> <laughs> and kill the franchise with Bo and Dallas. then get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's best to get shot and die than live long enough to see Marine 7. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, Marine. I was like, Ben, when he brought us over and, you know, you're having, having a laugh and slagging and stuff, you know what we do, right? <laughs> you know what this will be, don't you? <laughs> Did he want us to review this? No, he didn't say anything about that. But he was a fan, like, he invited us over because he was a fan of the show. Oh, yeah. yeah He's yeah. expecting a review. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I told him we'll do it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're in overtime, McMahon, because it's time for your mid event. <laughs> Terminator music hits as Sean hides in waiting on the docks. It really is Terminator music. It's how do they get away with this? It's like... No, no, it's legally distinct. It was... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Terminator? <laughs> After dispatching two lads, who's that jumping on the boat? HBK. Sean does his <laughs> di- diaper run. <laughs> trying not to be mean here uh, like you were the one that brought up the diaper were you? Uh, I think I did said he runs like he has a load in his nappy yeah <laughs> like he does run very well for a 50 something year old you know? uh, it's not just a 50 something year old it's a 50 something year old who's been bumping for 30 years yeah uh, and so we actually got to see them film this scene. This scene? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. big jump. Yeah, yeah. So it was very interesting because we got to see the stunt actor and he can fucking jump. He was a beast. Yeah, yeah. So they'd actually set it up and have the boat going and he'd run and make the jump. And he did it a couple of times as well. So He's jumping 10, jumps. 15 yeah. feet easily. Yeah. Like it was, it was fucking impressive. Yeah. But how they shot it in the film and how it came out, there's just so many quick cuts. It's no longer impressive because it looks like they've hidden the jump. And so eh, anyway... Um, and for the few seconds, you see, like, the perfect colour of the wig as well as a notch on. <laughs> Do you happen to bring my knife, by any chance? No. But I know where you left it. Oh, don't worry about it, sweetheart. You can keep it. Oh, so it's our main event. Becky versus Sean. Baxter hits a Hurricane Rana, but a bit of deus ex human callback here from the start of the movie as Sean uses Mrs. Rope fighting against Becky, throwing her overboard with an anchor tied to her, leaving her to sleep with the fishes. Poor Becky spent a day in a tank in Essex filming the scene. Sounds terrifying because you'd need to get the timing right and they'd have divers pulling you under. But ah, what a trooper. This fight was done really well. It was probably my favourite fight in the entire movie, actually. Ben was saying that she was an absolute beast doing the scene, like just did everything, never moaned, got up for retakes over and over again. Yeah, awesome. Um, have to get out of those wet clothes. Hey! <laughs> and into a dry mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what I liked as well? Sean didn't do the, oh, I'll grab the rope and I'll pull her out. No, he just let her die. Yeah. Just yeah. let her yeah. die. It was awesome. Oh, this scene was just missing one thing. Is He should have ran, jumped on her and started going, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> 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 I have one thing. The right? old scrappy-doo punches. Ah. Sean like ties it around her neck and I think he ties up one of, of her arms and then he does, you know, like Ken, just a rolling kick throw. 
Oh, yeah, in Street Fighter, yeah. Uh, and he does that over the top. And I'm like, no, you booked it wrong. He needs to do chop, 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 <laughs> clothesline. He... <laughs> <laughs> he needs to run back and forth, <laughs> hit a flying lariat, <laughs> kip up, <laughs> an atomic drop, <laughs> run to the corner, <laughs> tune up the band, <laughs> and then switch in music over the top. Yes. And that would have made this movie Oscar bait. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, Steve. Final scene. So with the heels dispatch. Oh, by the way, um, the dad juror is actually, they do have a hung jury. He does relent. So the dad walks I free. Love, so I love how you just didn't I tried talking. to power through it. He didn't talk about <laughs> any of his scenes. <laughs> <laughs> they were the three scenes that, sh- that didn't need to be in this movie. Oh no, I just thought you were making reference to it, them being a hung jury. No? <laughs> oh. The juror relents, it's a hung jury, and Becky's dad goes free. Becky says, oh, right, you can let me go now. She's like, nah, loose end's gonna kill you, and then go for your dad. I like that. Yes, out and out heel. So, final scene, with the heels dispatched, Becky's dead, the police arrive, Sarah reunites with her dad. The FBI saying that, although Becky's dad has walked, he's got a fresh batch of new charges to put him away for good. And then Sean sees them wheeling the Miz out uh, on a gurney, and he says, Semper Fi, Semper Fudge. <laughs> so you can't hear Semper Fi without yeah. thinking Semper Fudge, <laughs> much, can yeah, you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Semper Fudge. <laughs> And we're done. And then I was thinking they pan up into the kind of clouds in the night sky. And I was hoping we'd see the moon and Miz's face in the moon. <laughs> oh, no. Next to John Cena <laughs> and Ted DiBiase Jr. <laughs> so, lads, they uh, take Miz's body. They zip the body bag back up. They load him in. And then the ambulance drives off with the <laughs> siren going. I'm like, lads, he's dead. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Take your time. Go and grab a breakfast roll. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> then the ambulance smashes into a tree. Uh, then we get a nice uh, goodbye, brother. Ladder to heaven, America song. Where, where was Creed? <laughs> <laughs> Scott Stapp is very available. <laughs> He's on my couch right now. <laughs> what, what, like, what was this montage? I, I actually think I got what they were doing here, which is Miz is dead, so his role in the franchise is over. I thought this was a thank you for doing Marine three, four, five, six. That's what it felt like. Do you think it's kind of a bow for all of these movies like is part six the end and they're like cheers for doing four of these movies mate i think so because the champion of this was man luisi the studio president he was pushing for this franchise and now he's gone so that's probably the end of marine Mm. yeah but they can just do the next one like the soldier or the navy seal like they don't have to continue with this franchise just rinse and repeat with something else Man, I tell you, all of these action movies that WWE make, like um, army movies, they all make money. Like, it's only 700 grand, but hey, that's a, still a lot of money. And you have a film at the end of it. you got a full bin full of DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have these movies up on the network? No, they don't. Why not? <sighs> Who's going to buy the network for this? Like, you can make a lot more money by selling it to airplanes, you know? Yeah, probably. But, you know, airplanes usually have a choice of movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, my head that's locked on the marine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and let's take it to the aftermath. So long, son. Can I just say before you? I'm sure it's going to spoil what you wanted to say, but I'll just hint at it. Go on. It was the credits were on the background. I was kind of ah bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> I was like just putting something away or whatever, and I was like, "I wonder." So, no, no, what did you see? What did I see? 
Uh, Steve, did you watch the credits? I did. Oh, so we all saw. It. <clears throat> I did. Saw it. Lena lost her shit hmm. seeing the very end. She was like, "Oh my god, you're so famous!" Uh. I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Can we get like a sad card based on this now?" <laughs> 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 I have a credit in a movie. Give it to me. I want everything. <laughs> like, look. Guys, I wasn't the first build name on the credits. I was the last build name on the credits. Received a burst <laughs> <for learn. laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, amazing. we got a film credit. That's fucking amazing. Mind like, blowing. Yeah. All of our names and then OSW review. Ah. It's indisputable. Yes. We got two film credits, which is better than anyone else on that movie got. <laughs> <Actually>, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's someone who did Somebody fifty a jobs around the best yeah. boy. Yeah, you know? a best boy. <laughs> <laughs> is there any more diddlerific name than best boy? I think me and you got one credit, and OC got two. It is his show. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. No, I I marked out. Oh, Holy shit! This was at like midnight last. Oh jeez! Did you pause it and be like, "Get in here! Look at this! Everyone, gather the family!" <laughs> So thank you, Ben. Thank oh you man, so hell much. yeah, awesome, yeah. Like you made the three of us marks. Yeah, just mark out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mister OC, Mister Shawn Michaels. Best fan, best friends, <laughs> forever. 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 Um, what did you make of the film? I did not think this would be good. But it wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. I, I What I liked about it was short. It was in one location, as I mentioned earlier on, no unnecessary plot lines. Even like the stuff of the court case, it was lasting about all of three minutes, which is great. The Miz can act, he's fine, and I'm sure you'll go on to have a decent career. Sean was really good. That shocked me. Yeah. It's a shame it's 20 years too late. He could have been an action star. He's got the charisma, got the choreography, he can act. Yeah, that's a shame. Um, now you can cut this out because I'm sure you'll be tweeting this to Becky. Go on. Um, gorgeous, unbelievable. The leather jacket for me. <sighs> Incredible looking woman. But anyway... She can't act. Will she be able to? No. This is the end of the road for Bucky, unfortunately. And I'm just wondering what the market is for movies like this. Like, I get it in the 80s, early to mid 90s, pre Matrix. You know, you had a lot of movies like this um, Schwarzenegger, Stallone, Van Damme, Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> but. Especially now we've had The Matrix, The Bourne movies, The Accountant, you know, John Wick. What I liked about it is it's because it's different and they're trying something new, a new style of action movie. This is just going back to, and like the, it's it's got the buddy cop thing going on and they are really good, they have really good chemistry, but I'm too old for it now. Uh, out of 10? Um, four. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd be quite similar to you. It was Grant. Sean was great. I was shocked that he can act, that he has proper, like, comedic timing. His banter back and forth with Miz was my favourite part of the movie. His fight scenes were way better than I thought they were ever going to be. Um, I I wouldn't be as harsh with Becky as you are. Um, it's a pretty one-note character. She didn't have much written for her. I don't know if there was much to work with. But oh, Jesus, yeah. But I think she has a presence. Uh, I think when she's on screen, you're absolutely drawn to look at her. Yeah. But I don't know if that's just because she's gorgeous or if that's because she has something special, you know? But I'd be happy to see her try a meteor roll next time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah good stuff out of 10 sir between a 4 and a 5 with 5 being an average movie for what this set out to be a B movie action buddy flick yeah 5 
yeah, very similar thoughts, but for the intense budget and time constraints, it turned out quite well. It was kind of saddening to hear that whoever kind of shoots it don't see it through to completion. Like, you can tell they're super passionate and have lots of ideas, but it's the studio's vision, it's the studio's money, and they'll edit it how they think is best. Like, when the trailer comes out and it's this bargain bin garbage trailer, that's like, that. you know, this, I have no creative merit trailer. And it's like, they must have been, like, flaccid immediately. Like, you know? But, you know, please don't take my commemorative uh, coffee flask away. Like, <laughs> You can't re-edit the film. It's locked in with our credits. <laughs> they can't take Recall that away. Recall all copies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and that ends the review of the film. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks to Ben, who is working on Erica, which is kind of hard to explain. It's a, a live interactive film like Heavy Rain, but with multiple branching paths, a psychological thriller, PS4 timed exclusive by Flavorworks. Linky in the description below. Oh, anyway, thanks so much, Ben. Fucking hell, mate. Absolutely. A experience of a lifetime. Yeah. We okay. will not be invited back. I don't know. I think we were pretty positive in this movie. Oh, yeah. Like, four out of ten for me is, uh, like, borderline average. That's like an eight in IGN terms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, like, I, and I especially thank him for leaving me on the credits. Because especially after I was such a cunt. Oh, like, it would be amazing <laughs> if it was like, thanks to me and Jay. And, and, and their no friend. Yeah. And their friend. Or thanks to Jay and his two friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is OSW79. The Royal Rumble 2019. Ooh, Stephen, what is coming up on Twitch? I am still working my way through two awesome games. Playing Red Dead 2 which is pretty special, lads. And also playing through Yakuza Kiwami. It's the most Japanese thing I've ever played. 10 on 10. And uh, if you want to slip us a couple of books, you can and watch some exclusive videos, music, uh, movie reviews, OSW playlist, all that lovely stuff at nagaryu.oswreview.com. So it's a goodbye from V1. Take a fucking boo. And Aussie. Boo And myself, Jay Hunter. And remember... Oh, when who is you? So efficient. <laughs> <laughs>